let me take up the the final problem of this particular approach slope deflection wherein you have considered all type of loads on this one and as well as you can see this problem a frame a portal frame with an variable height of the columns and a horizontal member and as well as we have a horizontal load acting on this one so this problem definitely will sway in which direction that we need to assume since it is clear the load is acting from left to right we can assume that the sway will occur towards right side i am putting it in a small figure here just representing that the sway occurs here towards right side this is delta the delta is not known so we need to another unknown now in addition to the slope at b and c whereas ad are fixed so theta a is zero theta d is zero and theta a sorry theta b theta c and delta are the three unknowns neglecting the deformation of the member bc the so horizontal translation of the member bc is neglected here so whatever the displacement b moves to b dash the same amount of displacement will occur when c moves to c dash so only one unknown is delta theta b and theta c so we need to use the same slope deflection equation let me put it again for your clarification mab general equation mfab plus 2 ei by l 2 times of theta a plus theta b minus 3 delta by l so you'll get all the terms here so depending on the slope conditions otherwise theta a theta b and delta will be there in all the terms depending on the span it is bc or cd or something so before going into develop the slope deflection equation let me calculate the fixed end moments for all the members where we have the load first step fixed end moments let me take it as ab don't consider this horizontal load here it is acting at joint not on the member so those loads which is acting on the member we need to consider here mfab will be equal to minus mfba because load is symmetrical on the member it is minus you all know the equation now it is wl square by 12 10 into 6 square divided by 12 so it will be equal to minus 30 kilo newton meter mfba is plus 30 mfab is minus 30 <coughs> coming to the other span mfbc cannot be equal to cb because load is unsymmetrical on this one simple point load single one so minus we know wab square 90 into a is 2 b is 3 square divided by 5 square is 25 the answer is around 64.8 kilo newton meter mf cb is same thing but positive plus a square into b is 3 divided by 25 it will be positive the answer is 43. 2 kilo newton meter come to the last member the vertical member wherein you don't have any load mfcd is equal to mfdc that will be equal to zero we need to put them on the paper with that zero means don't neglect it you have to write it because those values we need to use it to develop the equations so these are fixed end moments let me move to the next step slope deflection equations i have three distinct members ab bc and cd you will get six moment equations now mab you know the equation mfab is minus 30 plus 2 into refer the i value if there is any change you can take it is 1.5 into 2 into 1.5 ei divided by span is 6 in the bracket two times of theta a plus theta b minus you can observe now with respect to a b is sinking here if you take a horizontal one this will look like this b to b dash is delta and this is a so when right support is sinking with respect to left don't change the sign convention use it as minus itself because delta is 
positive we use in the derivation of the equation. So, go with the same convention. It is minus 3 times delta is not known. We can keep it as delta divided by span is 6. You can just simplify this equation. 30 plus 2 into 1.5 is 3 by 6 is 0.5 into 2 is 1. So, it is E i theta a plus 0.5 E i theta b it is 3 square by 36 it will be around 0.25 E i delta take this as equation 2. The second part of the same member you can put it directly by looking at the first equation minus 30 because it is symmetrical it becomes plus 30 these two will exchange 0.5 E i theta a plus E i theta b and of course the last term does not change if it is there it will come as it is with the sign convention it is minus E i delta. Delta remains same whether it is a sinks with respect to b or b sinks with respect to a. So, coming to the next member m b c it is a horizontal member here you do not get any delta here. So, it is minus 64.8 plus 2 into I have a value of 2 i here 2 times of E i divided by 5 in the bracket 2 times of theta b plus theta c the last term I have not considered here. So, if you simplify this now minus 64.8 4 by 5 is point 8 into 2 1.6 E i theta b plus 0.8 E i theta c let me take this as 4. Coming to the next one M c b I have plus 43.2 plus as usual exchange the coefficients 0.8 E i theta b 1.6 E i theta c that is your equation number 5. The last member C d m c d is equal to 0 because fixed end moments are 0 no load is acting there plus E i value is 1. So, it is 2 E i by 4 2 times of theta c plus theta d minus 3 delta by L is 4. So, 2 by 4 is 0.5 into 2 is 1. So, M C D equal to E i theta C plus 0.5 E i theta D 3 by 4 is 0.75 into 0.5. So, it is 0 0.375 E i delta. And M D C I can put it using the same equation here it is exchange of coefficients 0.5 E i theta C plus E i theta D minus 0.375 E i delta. You can put it as 3 by 8 also I think. This term you can put as 3 by 8. So, this also you can put as 1 by 4 so that you can use it in the factorial forum to get the accurate values of the slopes and deflection. So, we have seven, six equations, two to six, seven, the end moments in terms of the unknowns, theta a, theta b, theta c, theta d and of course, the sway delta. Let me use the conditions available now. 3a end conditions are boundary conditions. Since A and D are fixed, the ends, what is the condition? Theta A equal to theta D that will be equal to 0. So, out of the 5, 2 are eliminated now. Theta A from the equation 2 and 3 and theta D from equation 6 and 7. 
Now it is reduced to only three unknowns. So out of the three unknowns, we need to get three conditions. Let me use the joint equilibrium equation now. B. Joint condition or compatibility condition. The one and the same. I have two joints here. At B, to maintain the condition, the moment on either side should be same with equal and opposite. MBA plus MBC equal to 0. So that means I need to add equation 3 and 4. Adding equation 3 and 4. So MBA and MBC. I have 30 and minus 64.8. It becomes minus 34.8. And I have EI theta B and 1.6 EI theta B. It becomes plus 2.6 EI theta B. And I have theta C, 0.8 EI theta C plus 0.8 EI theta C. And this term, 0.25, or you can make it EA delta divided by 4 is equal to 0. So I'll just rearrange this now. 2.6 EA theta B plus 0.8 EA theta C <coughs> minus EA delta by 4 is equal to 34.8. Number 8. On the same lines, at C, MCB plus MCD is equal to 0. So it is equation 5 and equation 6 corresponding to this problem. Adding 5 and 6. I have only one term of numerical, it is 43.2 plus. I have 0 0.8 EA theta B, you don't have term of theta B in the 6. 0.8 EA theta B, please make these corrections here, it is not 2A by 4, the span is 3 meters here. You can see the CD span is 3 meters, so I am making the small correction in the equation. So it is 2 into 2, it is 4 by 3 EI theta C. Theta D is, of course, anyhow will be cancelling that, you can use it. 2 by 3 EI theta D and the last term, 3, 3 gets cancelled, it is 6 by 4 or it can call it as 2 by 3. Similarly here, it is 2 by 3, this is 2 by 3 and this is 4 by 3. Regrets for the mistake here because I consider the span as 4, actually it is 3 meters. These are the final equations of 6 and 7. Anyhow, I am using here now that equation theta C I have to add, I have 1.6 plus 4 by 3. If you put in the form of factorial terms, it comes to 44 by 15. EI theta C and of course I have 2 by 3 EI delta, you can put it as it is, minus 2 by 3 EI delta is equal to 0. I will just rearrange the equation now, 0 0.8 EI theta B plus 44 by 15 EI theta C minus 2 by 3 E I delta is equal to minus 43.2. Take this as equation 9. You have two equations from the two joint equilibrium condition at B and C, but there are three unknowns. I need to move for the another condition. 
What is that condition now? Look at the problem. You have two supports here. Which are those supports? A and D. When you have two supports, at this support you will get definitely, since it is fixed, you will get horizontal reaction, vertical reaction and reacting moment. Similarly at D also, if you consider the horizontal reactions at A and D, it should be in par with the total load acting on the frame in the horizontal direction. So that condition under 3B, we call that as shear condition. Net horizontal force acting on the frame including reactions should be equal to zero or we can call it as sigma of effects for the entire problem should be equal to zero. Assuming the reactions as horizontal towards right, only for the simplification, HA plus HD. Assuming the reaction at A is towards right, at D is also towards right, and the load is acting on the frame in the horizontal direction, plus 10 into 6, the UDL, 10 kN per meter over a length of 6 meters, and I have 20 kN should be equal to 0. So that means you can say it is HA plus HD is equal to minus 60 plus 20, 80 kN. Take this as equation 10. So HA and HD we don't know now yet. So what we have to do now, take the free body diagram of these two vertical members AB and CD so that you can develop the expression for the horizontal reaction at A in terms of the end moments MAB, MBA for HA and MCD and MDC for HD along with the loads. So let me take free body diagram of AB. It is a vertical member with UDL 10 kilonewton per meter over a length of 6 meters I have taken HA here along the wind moments assume them as positive so that it will be easier to substitute MBA and MBC to develop the equation I need to take the moment about B and equate it to 0. It is a normal convention. I am taking moment about A and equating to 0. If you take that now, HA into 4, sorry 6, it is anti-clockwise, minus 10 into 6 into 6 by 2, it is also anti-clockwise, plus MB, MAB, plus MBC equal to 0. So HA is equal to now, I can transfer this to the right hand side, remaining to this side, it is equal to MAB plus MBA minus, how much is this, 6 3 is 18, so it is 180 divided by 6, take this as 11. And not to substitute AB and BA, at the end we will substitute those terms now. Similarly, let me take the free body diagram of CD, the another vertical member, wherein I can take this as HD and the moments as MCD and MDC. Same condition, take moment about C equated to 0, HD into 4 minus anti-clockwise plus MCD plus MDC equal to 0, therefore HD is equal to MCD plus MDC divided by 4, take this as equation 11. If you don't have any load on the horizontal vertical member, you will get directly the moment divided by the span. Let me take out this. Remember that equation 8 and 9, we need to use them to solve the problem. Substitute the equations of 
MAB, MBA, MCD, MDC in these equations are substituting 11 and 12. This is 12. In 10. So it is MAB plus MBA minus 180 divided by 6 plus MCD MDC divided by 4 is equal to minus 8. Let me substitute the values of the moments now. What is the value of MAB? MAB we know I will put it in the bracket minus 30 plus 0.5 EI theta B minus EI delta divided by 4 plus 30 plus EI theta B minus EI delta by 4 minus 180 whole term divided by 6. This is the first term. Plus, I have MCD. <coughs> MCD is 4 EI theta C by 3 minus 2 by 3 EI delta plus 2 EI theta C by 3 minus 2 by 3 EI delta divided by 4. That is equal to minus 80. You can see now you have minus 30 and plus 30. It will be cancelled. I have EI theta B 0.5 and EI theta B 1 divided by 6. It is 1.5 EI theta D B divided by 6. And I have EI delta by 4 plus EI delta by 4. So it is totally 2 EI delta by 4, it becomes EI delta by 2 divided by 6, it is minus EI delta divided by 12. Coming to the next part now, 4 EI by 3 plus 2 EI by 3, totally it will be 4 plus 2, 6 by 3, 2 EI theta C divided by 4. So it is EI theta C divided by 2 minus I have 2 by 3 and 2 by 3 plus so it becomes 4 by 3 divided by 4 so it is a delta divided by 3 is equal to minus 8 again the same mistake carried out it is hd into 3 meters it is not 4 meters so the equation 12 will be MCD plus MDC by 3 and, and here it is 3 and here also it is 3. So there will be a correction in these two terms. Let me take out this. So it is 2 by 3, 4 by 3 and 2 by 3 it is 2, 6, 6 by 3 is 2 divided by 3 it is 2 EI by theta c by 3 plus so minus of course 2 by 3 plus 2 by 3 it is 4 by 3 4 by 3 by 3 it is 4 ei delta by 9 that is equal to minus 8 so 1.5 by 6 ei theta b by 6 i have 2 ei theta c by 3 minus 1 by 12 plus 4 by 9. 1 by 12 plus 4 by 9 comes out to be 19 ei delta divided by 36. In this equation I have 180 by 30 it is minus 30 that is equal to minus so if you transfer to the right hand side it will become minus
take this as equation as 30. I have equation 8, 9 and 13 all together now constitute three linear simultaneous equations wherein we have three unknowns solving 8, 9 and 13 three linear simultaneous equations we will get the unknowns as E i theta b is equal to 22.732 and E i theta c is 4.28 and Ea delta 110.9. Then observe this Ea delta is positive. What we assumed this way towards right is perfectly right. And of course, we know the other two slopes theta A and theta D are 0. So substituting these values into equations 2 to 7, Substituting into equations 2 to 7, we get. What we get? We get the final moments here. So, MAB, substitute and simplify, check the answers. What I mentioned, it is minus 43.362. MBA is plus 25, MBC is minus 25, so it satisfies the equilibrium condition of the joint, MBA plus MBC equal to 0 and MCB is plus 68.234. and MCD is minus 68.234 and MDC is minus 71.087. I will mark it on to this frame. So, it can use minus 43.362 plus and minus 25 plus and minus 68.234 minus 71.087. So, little bit of hitch in between because of this 4 and 3 meters, finally we got the answers and the end moments. And now let us to sketch SFD, BMD and the elastic curve, we need to use the free body diagrams of the three members A, B, B, C and C. free body diagram of AB. Since it is a vertical member, And the moments you copy from the frame 43.362, the direction is wrong here, it is minus.
just leave the space take as usual moment about b equal to 0 43.362 minus 25 minus 10 into 6 into 6 by 2 minus RAH into 6 equal to 0. Therefore, RAH is equal to 33.06 kilonewton. Use the equation of equilibrium sigma f x equal to 0. I have 10 into 6 minus R A H minus R B H equal to 0. Therefore, R B H is equal to total 60 minus 33. It comes out with 26.94. Again, this one is also acting towards left. thirty three point zero six kilo newton here and twenty six point nine four kilo newton the reactions what we have obtained is thirty three at a and twenty six at b what I will do is let me put this as x fp is towards right it is two point six nine four meters from b so using that distance, you can calculate the moment at P now, bending moment at P, M, P, so it is reaction is 26.94 into 2.694 is positive, minus 10 into 2.694 square by 2 is negative minus 25. Therefore, MP is equal to 11.29 kilo Newton meter. So, coming to horizontal member, free body diagram of BC. You can take this as RB and RC. I have a load at 2 meters, it is 90 kilo Newton. This is 3 meters, and the moment is 25, 68.234. Same principle, let me take moment about B equal to 0, 90 into 2 is positive plus 68.234 minus 25 minus RC into 5 equal to 0, therefore RC comes out to be 44.65. And of course, it is positive acting upwards. Use the other equation. Sigma F y equal to 0. I have R B plus R C minus 90 equal to 0. So, substituting R C, you will get R B is around 45.35. So, you got the reactions now. Let me put it here 45.35 and constant comes down to 44.61. 
we know clearly that the shear force is changing its sign at 90 kilo newton load I consider that as point q let me calculate moment at q take left side or right side it is 45.35 into 2 minus 25 it is equal to 65.7 Let us take the free body diagram of CD. We don't have any load on this one. It is only negative moments acting here, 68.234 at the end C and 71.087 at D. Taking moment about C, HT into 3 meters minus 71.087 minus 68.234 equal to 0. Therefore, HD is sum of these two divided by 3, the reaction is 46.44. this is acting towards left. If you use the another equation of sigma fx equal to 0, hc plus hd equal to 0, therefore hc is minus 46.4. So what it means now what we assumed is wrong, the actual direction of the reaction at c is from left to right, not from right to left. The magnitudes of both of them are same, 46.44, 46.44. Just sketch the shear force diagram for this now. It is 46.44. Constant here, and I have a reaction from left to right, 46.44. That means it is not changing any sign the shear force but still it is better to have a moment at the midpoint let me take it at a distance of 1.5 meters call this as r to find the moment at r now mr any side you can use it it will be equal to if you take it to the Per side, the positive value is 68.234 minus 46.44 into 1.5. So it comes to around 1.426 positive. Use all of them now, the moments, reactions and everything. The shear force diagrams are already done with. You can use them to sketch for the entire frame. So, hoping that you will do that. Let me go directly to the bending moment diagram. I'll take it as BC, sorry, AB first. Again mark the values along the side of the arrow, the end moments 43.362 and 25. And I have a positive moment of 11.29 at a distance of 2.694, 11.29. The load is UDL, so the variation is parabolic. If you take BC now, again you have 25 here, same value at joint B towards the member C, 
and here this side I have 68.234 and I have a maximum bending moment under the point load it is around 65.70 so since it is a point load the variation is linear taking the member CD now a 3 meter 1 and I have 68.234 the same value here and here it is 71.087 no load so it is linear variation here let me take up this to sketch the elastic curve you have two distinct one we know that B moves to B dash because of the sway and C moves to C dash. The two point of contraflexures in AB again two point of contraflexures in BC and I have a point of contraflexure here that is your elastic curve this is your bending moment diagram and the elastic curve and of course here for the diagram we already sketched in the free body diagrams of the individual span this completes this problem of sway so be careful while taking the last condition to find out the third equation that is your shear condition equation use that shear condition that the total reaction should be equal to horizontal load acting on the frame from that condition substitute back the end moment equations you will get the third equation once you get these equations rest of the thing is simple calculation okay thank you